it is absolutely on the water theme because if you've been out here in the summer months you will have noticed another number of artists hard at work creating these paintings over here it's called art in the arches and the theme is all about water and jersey's relationship with the with the water and they are now complete so there's been a launch event tonight plenty of people have been coming down here to take a look because they are fantastic these works but i am now joined by the brains and creativity behind this piece here with Zara. Thank you so much, Zara, for coming to chat to us. Thank you. Can you tell us about this piece here and what it represents? Yeah, so I chose to look at a direct impact of climate change on water all around the world. So I wanted to take a holistic view. Um, and it looks at how the glacial melt has affected us with the rise in sea levels. Um, so it's kind of a comparison between the 100 years then being the black and white and now being the colour. Apart from with this piece behind me, the black and white is representing the modern day. So you've got the bleached coral, the pollution of the plastic bags, compared to the beautiful, colourful ocean that we used to have. It is absolutely stunning work. And of course, part of the exhibition is about Jersey's relationship with the water. How has this process made you think about the importance of the water and the sea for us here in the Channel Islands? Well, it's super important, I think, to remember that water travels all over the world. And so I wanted to kind of take in my personal viewpoint and I lived in the mountains for three years so I have a close personal relationship to them as well as the coast. So I did some research and found out that all the glacial melt actually affects the rise in sea levels greatly so it directly affects us here back on the island as well. And you are a local artist, you're from Jersey, what has it meant for you to have your work commissioned here? It's been so exciting. Honestly, it's my first big commission and to be able to work with four other established artists has just been amazing. And honestly, the amount of community that I've met and every people, everybody walks past here. And um, so it's just been really nice to also leave a legacy as well whilst I'm studying away. Perfect. Well, it looks stunning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you. we're going to move on now to the weather. But sticking with the water theme, there are some very high tides in place tonight and tomorrow. Let's get all the details now. Here's your full weather forecast. Well, we've had some fine weather today and lovely night skies as well with the super moon. Also some gorgeous landscape shots sent in. This one was from last weekend. Today, a bit breezier, meaning some rougher seas. And actually with the high tide, that means there's actually an orange weather warning in place for Guernsey. We could see some waves coming over the sea walls in places, more likely on northeastern parts of the island. So do take care if traveling later tonight and tomorrow morning when the tide is peaking. In terms of the rest of our weather though this weekend, we'll have some sunny and some bright spells, but there is the risk of a shower that looking most likely from Saturday afternoon overnight into Sunday morning, but they could come at any time this weekend, so do just keep an eye out for that. And temperatures are returning to around average for the time of year, so dropping a bit after some warmer weather over the past few days. For the rest of tonight then, it's staying dry and we will have some clear spells. Just some low cloud making an appearance and maybe some mist as we approach dawn. Quite a breezy night, winds force four to gusty fresh force five at times, but it is going to be a warm night with minimum temperatures of 16 or 17 degrees. So a dry start tomorrow, but it could well be quite cloudy, quite misty as well. We'll see increasing brightness and more sunshine into the afternoon, but winds still fairly fresh coming from that northeasterly direction. Maximum temperatures of 21 degrees and just the risk of a shower from tomorrow afternoon, but looking more likely into the weekend. Let's get our times of high water then around 9 a.m. and later on between 9 and 10 p.m. So if you take a look at the week as a whole, yes, we'll have some sunshine at times, but it is all becoming a bit more unsettled with low pressure moving in. So the risk of a shower and temperatures just taking a drop down as well. Hello there, very good morning to you. We've had some lovely night sky and moon pictures coming in still, as well as some gorgeous landscapes. This was last weekend. Staying fine today, but a bit breezier, so rougher seas. And with the high tide, that means there is a tide warning in place, an orange warning for Guernsey for tonight and tomorrow morning. So do take care and keep an eye out for that. In terms of the rest of the weather this weekend, we'll have some bright and sunny spells, but showers increasingly likely Friday night earliest and then into Saturday night more likely. Temperatures around average the time of year so just taking a dip on what they've been the past few days. 
Today, staying dry, as I said, fine sunshine around, moderate to fresh breeze coming from the northeasterly direction, and temperatures with maxes of around 22 degrees. Now, as we head into tonight, it's staying dry, and we'll have clear spells, but some patchy cloud coming and going, more likely as we approach dawn. Still fresh and gusty winds, and quite a warm night with minimums of 16 degrees. Now, it's probably a dry start, perhaps a bit cloudy, maybe some mist thrown in there too, but getting brighter and sunnier by the afternoon. The wind still force four to fresh force five, and there is the risk of a shower as we head into tomorrow night. Temperature-wise, we're expecting highs of 21 degrees. That's it from me. Take care.